Uh, so let's move on. Uh, next one is the p-values and significance level. Specified whether tests were one-sided or two-sided. Okay, so this is very important when we judge statistical significance. So let me explain what is two-sided, what is one-sided. And so assume, and we are measuring blood pressure uh, between two groups. Okay? And then new drug, and then we saw uh, blood pressure of 10 reduction. Right? So your observed difference is minus 10, okay, reduction by 10. Right? And uh, if you compute the p-value, p-value is the probability of observing this value or even further difference when there is absolutely no effect by this drug. So what you do is you draw normal curve and where the center is at the no difference value, no value, which is zero. Okay? And then you simply compute area uh, from this observed. This is what you observe. Okay? So area from this point to the further point okay, under this normal curve. Okay? So this area in this example is 0 0.035. So using 0 0.05, you may claim a drug is effective. There is a statistical difference. Right? And although the, typically we do not use one-sided tests, this is called one-sided p-value. And what the software typically give you is two-sided. So when you think of this area, and automatically you have to think of this area. So what is this area? This is the area, and then you actually see the drug is harmful. So the blood pressure, the drug is making 10 or higher difference. Okay, so that is this area. So, uh, so area of this is simply 0 0.035 times 2, 0 0.07. So using this as a p-value, you can no longer claim statistical difference. Yeah. So this is a typical p-value. Almost 99% of time, we have to use two-sided p-value, not one-sided. Why is that? Okay. And there is a case, and you may claim you can use one-sided test, and what is the what is case? That case is when you, as you imagine an uh, infinite number of researchers repeat your study, okay? And then no one would observe blood pressure increase more than 10 using this drug, okay? So by biology, uh, this drug does not cause uh, elevation of blood pressure, then you might claim one-sided. But then, even the biology tells you that by random chance measurement error, you might see the reversing effect. So if you can't really have, uh, justify, uh, justify that, and you can't, you can't really use one-sided p-value. Okay? So for that reason, we almost always use two-sided. Right, right. So even by measurement error by biology, and you know for sure this never happened, then you can use one-side test. Right. So using one-side, two-side, and using two-side harder to uh, make harder to reject the new hypothesis, harder to detect the signal. So therefore, the journal is telling you you are not uh, purposely choosing one-sided. <laughs> okay. So uh, you need to report always and p-value is based on two-sided. Okay. And the next one, reported actual p-value for primary analysis. And I've seen many days when people put the p equal to n as not significant. So this is not the recommended practice. Even when the p-value is greater than 0.05, it's better to put the exact value for p-value. So here is the rules in the New England Journal of Medicine and JAMA or Nature Cell Biology use uh, to format the p-value. Okay. So when the p-value is greater than 0 0.01, and it use two digits after decimals. Okay. And so in this case, if the p is 0 0.039, and put the p equal 0 0.04, okay, just the two decimal, uh, two digit after decimal you use. And the next one, use three digits after decimal for p-value, which is uh, less than 0 0.01, but greater than 0 0.001, okay? And then the next one, and you use a p-value less than 0.001, okay, just a three digit for uh, a p-value less than 0.001, which means if you observe p-value of 0.0002, and then just to put the p less than 0.001, okay? And so this is a typical recommendation. And then sometimes I see the people put the p equals zero, 
and the software does return p equals zero if the p value is really really small <laughs> they can't really put point zero 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 one okay and so you might see zero but prob p value is a probability probability can never be zero so therefore even software returns zero and please use this note uh, this format Mm -hmm. uh, okay, studied like that, those exceptions, yeah. 